What's up everybody? This is James with Essential. Real quick to just talk about something that a lot of us have issues with and that is trying to determine what you want to do with your business as far as what type of designs do you want to do? This is personally something that I've struggled with even in, in my ventures of trying to figure out what's going to work for my brand or what is going to be the most cost effective uh, you know transfers to do or type of printing method to do you know, we've tried white toner we've tried DTF we've tried screen printing we've tried regular transfers plastisol transfers blah 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 transfers vinyl you know so in the end what is it that works for you is what you need to determine okay I'm gonna break down some things that I think work really great uh, based on uh, you know durability quality based on efficiency how good it looks so one thing that I've learned in my business over time it's very important to keep things very simple you're gonna realize that in order to compete in the market today if you're trying to do t-shirts and apparel you've got to be more creative with your designs than the type of transfers you're doing Okay, the design, how it looks matters because it's got to catch the eye of your people that are looking at it. Okay, if it doesn't catch their attention, if it doesn't catch the eye, you're not going to sell it, plain and simple. So, keeping your designs very unique, very high end, not making them look like swap meet t shirts that look fake, that look cheesy, uh, that a person might not understand what does it mean what is it you know they might not even understand your brand name these are all key factors when it comes to your business your designs your brand name the message you're trying to come across are you a niche brand or do you do you are you all over the place to where you don't even know what you are so you got to figure out who you are what you're doing the message you're trying to get across because that's how you're going to be able to find your unique audience you know the people you're trying to reach the people you're trying to sell to okay so create a niche create a good brand name something that's catchy that means something don't just create twinkie t-shirts and then think that it's going to sell you know all day long you know but you know what i'm saying be creative and be unique be one of a kind be something that is interesting not something that that everyone don't follow the fads of everyone else and what they're doing because you know you can get caught up trying to follow other people and what they're doing all the time so here's my recommendation everybody wants to do full color everybody's hyped up on full color transfers full color digital they want full color t-shirts on black whatever fantastic if that's your deal that's fantastic. So here's some recommendations that I would recommend to you. Again, we've, we've talked about this before. DTF is still a new product that's out there. It's still being worked out. Now, I've got another video coming where I'm gonna highlight, you know, a DTF company that, you know, this is just a, a dude that's, that's doing it on his own. He's a small business because like I said, I'm going to be highlighting small businesses that are willing to work with me and I'm going to showcase them because you know what, that's, that's a big deal to get the little guys out there. It's cool if you want to, you know, beef up next to the, the, the big corporate companies, but that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But I want to start recognizing little companies that, that are out there hustling and grinding after all you know, as influencers, we're claiming, oh, we, we hustle and we're entrepreneurs, but how often do we really highlight small business and small companies? So that's what I'm doing. So we're going to be highlighting, uh, you know, statees.com. You know, he's a new DTF company that's up and rising. Uh, great guy and does phenomenal work. Uh, I've been able to use his stuff. So DTF is good when it comes to full color digital, but it's so new out there that me personally, I'm having a lot of issues with stretchability. Uh, you know, after a few washes, I'm kind of seeing a little bit of breakdown. And that's because you're obviously gonna, you're obviously gonna have all these mom and pop 
shops claiming that they're doing transfers, but they're selling desktop transfers from a desktop printer. That's not what you want. You want to get into at least someone who's running a commercial printer like statees.com. They're running a commercial printer, you know, and that's using a good stretch adhesive. You want good ink, good stretch adhesive, and you want uh, you know a, a good film when it comes to DTF you really got to do some research when it comes to that so DTF to me is still a scary field it's still you know I don't know who to trust when it comes to buying transfers you know with DTF it, it's you know a lot of different DTF companies of course stalls they're they're hitting it hard with ultra color max their DTF transfers but they're expensive so I have a hard time purchasing from them unless it's in small small logo quantity so if you can gang up small designs that's where you benefit with ultra color max but if you've got anything that's a 12 inch design you're you're paying about almost close to eight dollars per almost 12 inch design when i say almost that's like 11.75 by 11.75 so if that works for your business go for it order it now they're charging 30 dollars a gang sheet for example, statees.com, that dude, 23 by 24, he's charging, I think, $16 a gang sheet. So, big difference there. And, and I know with statees, he's using 4K printing. So, excellent, you know. So, there's two DTF options there. I don't, you know, I, I know there's some other companies that are doing DTF that are on YouTube, but I haven't really reached out to them yet. Um, I will just because the first thing I'm going to do is get the transfer, press the transfer, wash the transfer, stretch the transfer because I want to see how it acts after it's been washed. So that's one option, DTF. Second option, Supercolor. People can dog all they want about Supercolor. I'm going to tell you straight up right now. I've never had a problem with Supercolor. I press their transfers. I know for a fact that those shirts are gonna last, and I've seen it. Wash after wash after wash, super color, full color digital prints, they, they just last. They're a pain in the butt to press because there's such a, a, a heavy pressure and sometimes they don't wanna lay down right, but there's a method and a technique, and I have another video coming out uh, probably tomorrow showing that tiny little technique that'll show you how to lay those things down perfect every time. So. Uh, one thing I loved about Supercolor, man, you can get some serious detail when it comes to Supercolor, okay? So you got that option there, fantastic option, great prices. They also, they they hook up wholesale companies. So if you're a wholesale, you got a wholesale license, you're a business, you can open up a wholesale account and you'll get better pricing. Not other companies do that. I'll tell you right now, stalls, they don't do that. So Joe Blow, who comes in and opens up an account, they're gonna get the same pricing as you as the business opening up an account, which I think is kind of bogus. So Stalls, if you're watching this, change that. How come a business can't get the you know little perks here and there or, or better pricing versus a, a person that didn't put in the work to go out there and get a business license and do all this stuff to be legit? How come we can't get a better deal on transfer so maybe keep that in mind that, that's just a suggestion in my opinion that would work for people like us so uh, that's again those options there but of course with transfer Express which is a division of stalls you have ultra color soft fantastic digital option um, it is a cold peel it does require a second press in order to kind of work it out Sometimes it can be a pain in the butt to, to put down, but it's a fantastic product once it's down. Wash after wash again, that stuff is durable. It lasts, it's a great product. Now they have Ultra Color Pro, which is kind of the same thing, but not. It's it's that matte look, soft, kind of soft feel. Um, I don't think it's as matte as Ultra Color Soft Cold Peel, but this is their brand new, 11 and a half by 18 inch gang sheet style transfer that is a hot peel and it's full color digital so you can go balls to the walls designing whatever i mean the, the finest details you can go that route and now it's a hot peel 
So that's a fantastic option that they just released. Uh, low, I think it's six sheet quantity minimum. So there's another fantastic method of being able to go full color digital. Now me personally, other than those options there, DTF, but with very specific companies, cause you gotta be with a company who's worked out the kinks, who has a system that works when it comes to DTF. Their stuff stretches, their stuff works. You have companies that are actually putting in work and making, they're testing and making things happen to make sure you get a good product. And these are companies that are doing that, okay? Now, yes, you have other companies like TKO that finally bought a digital full color screen printing machine like Supercolor. Supercolor founded that method. Supercolor rocked it. Supercolor should get the credit for coming out with the type of transfers they did. Hot Peel, they were the first ones to hit full color digital Hot Peel and killed it. And they still are. They're not, they're not stopping and it's a great product. And now everybody wants to buy the same equipment, the same machine, you know, now that they can do it and, and they want to claim that they're better. No, you just finally caught up is what you did. So, you know, I would, you know, say go with the original super color, not to knock TKO. I think they're a fantastic transfer company. Um, you know, I have an account with them too. Crazy thing is I, you know, asked for free samples and they never sent them out to me. So still wait it's been almost three months <laughs> so you know anyways but you know super color they were the ones that started it so that should you know give a little loyalty there so you got those companies there now one thing that i want to say those are great to order those kind of transfers you know aside from ultra color max because that one's expensive those are great to order in bulk quantities because you get quantity discounts. You get, you know, the more you order, the lower your price gets. So that's where full color digital transfers can really save you some money. But I'm gonna tell you, if you can start getting your designs to where they're very simple, one color designs, maybe two, now you could stick to like Plastisol transfers, which are fantastic because they're quick to lay down in the case of Transfer Express, four seconds. Now when it comes to 631 Originals, their stretch transfers are phenomenal. They're great. Wash after wash, they hold up and they stretch. They're great transfers. The cool thing is, is they kinda, you know, at the same time offer a little free graphic, you know, advice on, hey, your design's not gonna work. You need to fix this, this, and that. They kind of help you along the way to make sure your product is working with their terms so that you get a great product in the end and they don't send you something that's not going to work with what they're doing. But they have fantastic prices compared to Transfer Express. Uh, you know, the competition there would be Goop Proof, the 613. They just work out great. They're a little bit cheaper for the stretch transfers surprisingly and they're, they're just awesome transfers i do a lot anytime i'm doing a one color design i do a lot with that one because i love the way it looks i love the way it just comes out it's a fantastic transfer to lay down it's quick it's hot peel boom 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 you know i get it done so if you guys can start designing in you know one color i mean bring it back you know bring it back to one two color it's just simple to do you know, in worst case scenario, you, you know, if you're missing a transfer, you can always make something in, in, in a vinyl, you know, real quick if it works out. But you can get very detailed again with screen print transfers, you know, Plastisol and have a good time with it. So keep it simple, man. Get back to basics. Keep your designs, you know, one color, two color. You know, that way you can you can do, you know, just simple clean design, screen print transfer. And you know what? You're gonna find it's just easier to design that way. And you don't have to deal with all this full color digital stuff all the time. But if you do, those are the options you have that I gave you that work out fantastic for what you're trying to do. But I just wanted to really quickly, you know, talk about it. Keep it simple. 
it'll work out better in the end and it's gonna be easier on your wallet okay so you got those companies right there that I just talked about and you got those type of transfers but again like I'm saying if you can do one and two color designs start doing stuff like that because it's gonna be way cheaper you're talking about you could probably get 50 transfers for like a hundred something bucks versus full color digital transfers are probably gonna run you close to three four so get creative and see what's working for you look at the pricing aspect of what you're trying to do how much is your full color digital versus one or two color prints to see man I could do so much more with these one and two color I can order more and do a lot more at this price range versus this price range okay because not everybody all the time has to have full color digital prints they just don't you know your design really has to work for it and even then you really need to be doing a lot of knockout colors based on the t-shirts you're working with if you've got black in your design your full color digital design and you're putting that design on a black shirt knock out all the black in your design you don't need it you know what i mean so there you have it some of the things i recommend real quick uh you know hey sorry i haven't been around guys but you know what the shop is in shambles the office is in shambles because i'm remodeling right now and i just everything is everywhere even my youtube space where i normally film is just it's nothing is is in in the right condition and shape for me to do anything so it's been hard one for me to be able to to be able to even do videos and then it's been hard for me to you know even get some work done so you know but when the shop's done reconfigured revamped you know we're, we're doing drywall painting and reconfiguring shelves storage and just kind of resetting up the studio backdrop and shop you know just for filming and stuff like that it's going to have a little bit more of an industrial look so it's kind of what i'm working on um, you know slowly but surely so this is the reason why I haven't been doing as much lately but I'm gonna start going live also more often and I'm gonna be popping up little videos like this in the car so this is gonna kind of be my little car series so you know hopefully that works out for you hey if you guys got questions posted in the comments I'll get to you and I appreciate the people the fans the subscribers that have been reaching out to me via email you know you you've been asking for advice and i've been able to you know get your questions answered but hey that's what it's all about guys you know reach out and uh i'm here to help if i can and i'm not going to be a jerk and tell you that uh you need to pay me first before i talk to you so uh you know reach out to me and then uh you know if i can help you out i'll help you out you know if i'm busy i'm, I'm just busy guys but uh i will get to you and we'll catch you then guys peace out